The Labyrinth Top by Ted Hughes. Ted Hughes. Ted Hughes. Ted Hughes. Labyrinth is a short tree with hanging branches, yellow flowers, and poisonous seeds. Let's begin. The Labyrinth Top is silent, quite still. In the afternoon, yellow September sunlight. A few leaves yellowing, all its seeds fallen. The poet says, the labyrinth top is still. In the afternoon, under yellow sunlight, in September, some leaves are turning yellow, and all the seeds are falling on the ground. The tree is shown like death, silent and still. Next stanza. Till the goldfinch comes with a twitching chirp, a suddenness, a startlement at the branch end. Then sleek as a lizard, and alert, and abrupt. She enters the thickness, and a machine starts up. Of chitterings, and a tremor of wings, and trillings. The whole tree trembles, and thrills. Goldfinch, is a small bird, with yellow feathers. It comes to the tree, with a twitching chirp. Twitching chirp means, sound of bird, with sudden movement. A suddenness, a startlement, at the branch end. Means, the tree suddenly trembles, and the goldfinch lands on a branch end. Then, the bird makes a movement, like a lizard, that is, alert and fast. She enters the thickness, and a machine starts up. The bird enters the thickness of the tree, that is, the place where the tree has many branches, such that it is not visible by the predators. A machine starts up, of chittering, and a tremor of wings, and trillings. What does this mean? The goldfinch comes to her children. When she comes, the young ones create sounds, movements, just like a machine. The whole tree trembles, because of the movements made the goldfinch and her young ones. Next stanza. It is the engine of her family. She stokes it full, then flirts out, to a branch end. Showing her barred, face identity mask. Who is the engine of her family? In the previous stanza, I told you, the machine, was the chittering and movements, of the young ones. Thus, the engine is, the goldfinch. Because, when it comes, it starts up the machine. She stokes it full. Stokes means, to add fuel. The goldfinch adds fuel, to her young ones. Here, fuel is, the fuel of the birds, that is, food. Then, she flirts out to a branch end. Showing her barred face identity mask. Her face is like a mask. Because, when she is at the thickness, she is not fully visible. She shows her face like an identity mask. Next stanza. Then, with eerie, delicate whistle chirp whisperings, she launches away towards the infinite. And the labyrinth subsides to empty. Then, with a frightening and soft, whistle chirp. The goldfinch launches away, towards the infinite, that is, the sky. And the labyrinth, again becomes empty, still and silent. In the first stanza, the tree was silent and still, like death. In the last stanza too, it becomes empty, like death. This means, death is universal. The goldfinch made the tree alive, when it came there, to feed her young ones. But ultimately, the tree becomes empty. This is what Ted Hughes wanted to say when it